So it's Mike again with Jetpack CRM. This video is covering contacts and how to get started with Jetpack CRM. So here we go. This is the dashboard without any contacts in. So you, there's a few things just to point out as we go through this dashboard. So you will see totals of how many contacts you've got added, how many transactions, how many quotes, how many invoices, if you're using those parts of the CRM. And then as you start adding contacts, you'll see some of these charts start to develop. So you can add contacts in a number of ways. So you can go and add a contact from this first button in the middle where it says add contacts. You can add a new contact from the menu at the top. A contact from the contact list view as well. So if you're in this area, you can add a new contact here as well. So when you add a contact, you have statuses, you have prefixes, main address and second address, and various other fields. So home telephone, work telephone, mobile telephone, and email. So email is the key piece of information that is unique. And you can also enter tags you can enter social profiles and if you're using company mode you can assign a contact to be working or to represent a company so that's a quick overview of contacts so let's jump into some of the options so over in settings you can go to custom fields on the left and in here you can add new custom fields for your contact. So if you wanted to log hair color, you can do it this way, add the custom fields. If you wanted to have another option, for example, dietary preference, you can decide to do that via a select box. So you could have meat, fish, veggie, and then you save your custom fields and those will be available on your contact record so that's how you add additional fields there's some other field options that you can do in the settings as well so under field options you can show the ID or not for the contacts and you can change the statuses. So if you don't want these statuses, you can have whatever you like in there. So you could have lead, qualified lead, and then customer. So if you're just running three, and you can change your prefix options if you have different ones you want to allow in there. And also what status would be your default. So we'll save those settings and then we'll add a contact. So again, we go and add a new contact. And you'll see the statuses of what we just chose. And we'll just add a very simple John Doe and you'll see these options came in that were there previously. So black and this person will be a vegetarian. And then we'll just use a john at example.com email and then hit save so that's your first contact added to the CRM and then once you've added that contact you can go and view the contact and you can see it's been a contact since January the 25th 2022 you have the custom fields that we'd added earlier and then you can go in and do various contact actions. So you can edit the contacts. If you're doing any type of freelance work or any services, you can add a quote, you can add an invoice, or you can log a transaction. If you just want to make a note about the contact, you can add, an, add a log. Or uh, if you've got something to do, you can go about adding a task. And finally, you can hop over and just pop them a quick email through the send email action. So just looking quickly at adding a log, we can go into the contact and you can create a note. So 
spoke to John about his diagnosis. It's all okay. Check in a week or two for future opportunities. So you can add logs, you can add different types of logs as well. So you can add, for example, if you sent a tweet, so you can go in and add extra notes like that. So on this contact we've just found out that his birthday was the 20th of January. So what we can do is we can go back to our settings like we had before and start recording birthdays. So we, we weren't logging that data before, but now we've decided that's the useful piece of information to start storing on our contacts. So we can just go back in and we can add birthday as a date. And then when we go back to the contacts, we can go back and edit this contact and we can put a birthday in. So we found out his birthday was the 20th of Jan. We didn't actually say what year in the message. So let's just put a random year, 1975 and hit save. So this is a very quick overview of contacts of how you go about adding contacts and adding custom fields and different statuses. And then when you start adding and building up more data, you can actually drag these into this list view as well. So if you wanted to bring in dietary preference, so you can see at a glance, it's right there. So that's all there is to adding contacts and managing your contacts. So you can keep adding contacts, you can import contacts via CSV, There's, and just lots of other little things that you can do that I'll touch on in a future video. So if you like this video, please do like and subscribe. And while you're here, you might want to check out this video on the screen, which is about how to add contacts via the Jetpack CRM API. So if you're running a service and you want to automatically add your contacts, they might sign up to your email list, you want them into the CRM, then you can do that via the API. And there's a lot of connections you can do there via something like Zapier or, or, or just writing the integrations yourself using some small pieces of code. So that's all for today's video and I'll see you soon.